Welcome back to Sun and Moon Rising. Today's session is going to be a Blue Lotus Tea Ceremony. The Blue Lotus Tea has been used to relieve the mind of stress and anxiety. It's a great way to relax our mind, body, and soul. Today's tea ceremony is going to be dedicated to setting the intentions of relieving ourselves, our body, mind, and spirit from stress, anxiety, and to set the intention to bring in more positivity into our life as well. The ceremony is going to be utilizing Reiki, and Reiki is universal life force energy, and Reiki does not need you to be in close proximity to receive it. If you wish to receive it, you will get it. We're going to take a moment so you can see the tea being made as if you are here participating with me in the making of the tea. Take a moment to set intentions. The first intention, of course, is to relieve ourselves of stress and anxiety. The second intention is to bring in healing light into our body. And the third, I'm going to let you take a moment. If you have an intention that's personal to you that you would like to set, you may say it, you may think it in this moment. I'm going to take a moment to give gratitude to this tea. Before I do the Reiki, thank you Blue Lotus Flower for being able to provide the energy not only for myself, for those who want to receive it through this video. Healing, healing of anxiety, healing of stress, healing of any of the burdens, the mind, body and the spirit is carrying and for allowing us to set an intention so we could be gifted with those things. Let's begin the Reiki.
I'm going to do one more Reiki symbol and this one is a protection symbol to protect your aura, your overall environmental energy as well. be setting this candle aside and it'll stay lit throughout this session. I'm going to be clearing the space with some smoke and bring a sense of centeredness back to ourselves as well. I'm using sweet grass for this. Imagine a red circle at the base of your spine. Imagine this red circle spinning faster and faster. As it does, it gets brighter and brighter. Next 
Next, we're moving on to the chakra above that, and that's your sacral chakra. Imagine an orange circle. This circle spins faster and faster. And as it does, it gets brighter and brighter. Next, we have the solar plexus chakra above that. Imagine a yellow circle. This circle is spinning faster and faster. And as it does, it gets brighter and brighter. Moving on to the chakra above that is the heart chakra. Imagine a green circle. This green circle spins faster and faster. As it does, it gets brighter and brighter. Above that is a light blue circle. Imagine the circle spinning faster and faster. And as it does, it gets brighter and brighter. Moving on to the chakra above that is our third eye chakra. Imagine an indigo circle. The circle spins faster and faster. And as it does, it gets brighter and brighter. We're at the final chakra now, located at the crown of your head. This chakra is a beautiful violet color. Imagine 
imagine the circle spinning faster and faster. As it does, it gets brighter and brighter. we're going to do a sound bowl. This is to balance our overall energy. session by pulling an oracle card. We're going to be using this deck and it is called the Starseed Oracle. Allow your intuition to guide you to see how the message fits your life personally. And remember, take only what resonates with you. Let's begin. A fitting message for this video. The card that was drawn is called Water Your Garden Nourishment, Body Care, Tenderness, Rest. I want to take a moment to describe the image in this card. There is a person half submerged in water, surrounded by this garden of beautiful white flowers and in the sky there is a galaxy full of stars and planets that are visible and in the clouds I'm seeing the shape of something that resembles a horse or a unicorn. I felt called to describe the image to whomever needed it. I'm going to be reading the passage from the book that it comes with for you. Earth is a seasonal planet, and as such, you're a seasonal being, cyclical. You can't be on in full bloom month after month, day after day after day. You're strongly being called to put on the brakes rest and refuel, to take a moment to restock and replenish, and slow right on down. Your body is the only body you're given, and it needs to be respected as such. You're being called to take responsibility for your well-being, to put your health and body first. I know it can feel like time is running out and as if there are urgent things that simply can't wait. However, if you keep pushing on, soon fatigue will set in. 
this way of living isn't sustainable. If anyone continues to race through life, eventually they will reach exhaustion and it will take longer to recover than it would have done to rest. Immune system disorders and mystery illnesses are becoming more common because we're putting too much pressure on our bodies to keep up with the instantaneous pace of modern life. How are you being called to put on the brakes? To rest, restore, and rejuvenate? When was the last time you took a holiday or had a full weekend? day or afternoon off. Look after your precious body and mind. Give yourself enough time to recover when you find yourself running on your reserves. There is enough time. Life will bend toward you when you do. Thank you so much for attending this tea ceremony. Sending you positive light and love your way.